right, guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the green iron. Okay, guys, it's been 24 hours, and the uh, the little mosquito net, the big uh, bug screen, is uh, now now all dry. Um, what I'm going to do is, at every kind of uh, junction here, I'm going to cut a little piece of uh, red shoelace and make a little tie out for uh, for a tent stake, for for example, and uh, that way we can actually. Going to stake this right to the ground to really uh, improve the effectiveness of the uh, the bug net. So I'm going to cut little two inch pieces of uh, shoelace. We're going to just uh, kind of cauterize the end, put it back in the sewing machine, and sew that to uh, to the bottom of the screen net here at uh, at every uh, kind of stitched junction, just like that. Cut the end off here. We're going to take that piece and fold it over like this. And Around the base of the bug net, we're going to stitch it, overlapping that seam by about half an inch, just to give us enough of a, a tie to uh, stake it down. So what we have now is a, a stitched on loop that's going to serve well as a, a little stake tie out to the bottom of the uh, kind of bug screen. Just like that, I'll tell you. It. 
So I think this is one of the open slits that goes right to the top in terms of the overlap. I'm going to also put a tie out on this just so we can overlap those joints and each peg them separately down. And I think that'll be enough to uh, kind of keep the door shut, if you will. So we just quickly torch each end of these shoelaces so they don't un unravel. I'm going to orient it kind of horizontally this this time, so it'll look like that. Okay, there's my net. It's all dyed up, and all the the ends have these little little tie outs to hold a stake, and we can stake it. Pull it all back out and it'll provide some nice reprieve from the bugs and uh, with those tie outs it'll anchor it down so it doesn't blow around or collapse and it'll give us lots of lots of room lots of volume inside there is about a one foot overlap and uh, I'm not too worried that that's not going to that fold will just keep the bugs out nice. I'm not too worried about that. Well, guys, thanks for watching. This was uh, an opportunity for me to take that kind of Amazon bed bug net, if you will, and uh, demonstrate how I dyed it uh, a, uh, kind of a darker color using wood stain. We demonstrated how to tie those uh, the tie outs around to each of the zippered seams of the bug net and that'll allow us to really stake it out and give us that enclosure um, kind of that nice perimeter without it enclosing on us uh, perhaps in the breeze so if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel click the uh, little circle logo up top that's my off the gridiron logo and check out this other video down below that was a video i shot recently so until next time jeff allen off the gridiron thanks for watching enjoy your outdoors bye for now